Hi everyone, we're back with the uh, Mums and Stories reviews and these are the whole books, the two of the whole books, the series which has been launched by Tuckville uh, Publications and uh, today we're going to be doing on Susie Will Not Speak uh, by Shruti Rao and uh, probably we'll do a text review of Meera the Detective by Pavitra Shankaran. So I particularly like this one because it's so important to talk about various kinds of people on this uh, planet and uh, it's amazing that books get uh, done and uh, let me just read this is about a little girl uh, who cannot speak in the regular normal way and um, her friend Jahan finds out why is it so the first time Jahan spoke to his best friend he made her angry Jahan and his parents had just moved into their new home Jaha, don't get in my way, said his mother as she tore the tape of a big brown cardboard carton. Go out and play. Jaha walked through the door and watch up, but it was too late. Jaha tripped over one of the boxes and fell flat on the ground. You okay? called his mother. Yes, ma'am. Jaha dusted his knees. He spotted a strip of bubble wrap lying on the ground. He pounced on it and took it outside. He stood at the gate, popping the blisters. Pop, 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 pop. A girl peeked out over the wall, separating Jahan's house from the next. Jahan looked up. Hi, I'm Jahan, he said. We just moved in. He jabbed his thumb towards his house. Hi, she said. Jahan felt an urge to show off. I know your name already, he said. How? asked the girl, smiling. I was at the park yesterday and the boy called Mukund told me that your nickname, said Jahan. Toots. Isn't it? The smile vanished from the girl's face. She shot him the kind of look that Jahan's mother gave their dog, Splash, when he chewed up her favorite slippers. No, she said, turned around and stomped away. Jahan heard the door of her house slam. Jahan stood staring, confused. Were you talking to Susie from next door? Called his mother from inside. Susie? That was the name. Why didn't Ma tell me before? So Toots wasn't her nickname. Then why did those boys at the park say it was? And it didn't sound that bad. Why did Susie get so angry? Was it a rude word? Something he didn't know the meaning of? Jaha's side. Too many questions and somehow he had made Susie angry. He hated saying sorry. But he knew he must. This was a serious situation. He couldn't do it alone. He needed expert help. Splash, he yelled. Splash was curled up on his rug after his meal. Jaha felt sorry to wake him up, but he had no choice. He had no idea why, but people were nice to him when Splash was with him. Jaha rang, rang Susie's doorbell. Susie opened and was about to shut the door when she spotted Splash. Splash, Splash did his usual thing, wagged his tail and hung his tongue out and made cute faces at Susie. Her eyes twinkled, her lips quivered. Jahan jumped in. My mother told me that your name is Susie. I know it upset you, but I don't know why I'm sorry. Susie kept looking at Splash. Her nose twitched, her eyebrows danced, and then she broke out into a jiggle. Giggle. He's friendly, said Jahan. You can pet him. Susie bent down and rubbed his head. She picked Splash up and he licked her all over. I'm sorry, said Jahan. Susie looked at him. It's okay. If you didn't know that my name is actually Tuti. Okay? A bulb went on in Jahan's head. She spoke with a lisp and her name sounded like Tuti when she said it. And if you shortened it, shortened it, it would be Toots. Jahan's chest swelled. Boy, wasn't it a good detective? Then he frowned. How mean of those boys giving her a nickname like that. As I said, uh, books like these, I think, you know, make children aware as to the, the kind of people, all kinds of people that we need to embrace, have around us and uh, make friends with them, live with them, talk to them, everything that you would do otherwise. So this is the um, book that we definitely recommend. It's a beautiful story. It's a short story recommended for those children who can uh, read easily on their own or you can uh, narrate it to them. But uh, if they can read on in their own, probably by five years onwards, till about eight, 
uh, or nine years, they will definitely love this book. And you also have Mira the Detective, which we've received uh, from Duck Bell, written by Pavitra Shankaran. And yes, a short review on that too is going to be coming soon. Thank you.